Rich Rankin is a renowned live and studio sound engineer from Los Angeles. He has been working in the music industry for more than 30 years. We invited Rich to the Two Notes headquarters to try out the Torpedo Capture X in situation and discuss his thoughts about the product with Two Notes CEO Guillaume P. Great to be here at Two Notes, visiting you here in France. Beautiful France. Thank you, Rich. Yeah. Very happy to have you. So you have a new product, Captor X. What yeah. is it? Well, the Captor X is a new portable solution for the guitarist or the bassist who want to play tube amp and has a problem with volume. Oh, yeah. Either on stage or at home or in the studio. So the idea of the product is to provide solutions so you can play the amp you love anywhere. Can I take a look at it? It's super light. Nice. Love it. So you don't have to plug in a speaker to this at all. Why is that? We provide what we call a reactive load in the unit that lets you not use a cabinet. For example, if you're playing at home or if you need silence on stage, well, you just have to plug the speaker out of your amp into the speaker in here and plug headphones or use monitors. And you won't hurt your amp at all, not having a speaker hooked up. No, you can consider this mm -hmm. as your speaker. speaker. Oh, okay. One thing I noticed using the unit that whether it was on full or the minus 20 setting, there was no loss of tone. How do you achieve that? The secret with a passive attenuator, it's kind of a trick, mm -hmm. but we need to actually compensate for some frequency loss. So rather than trying to make it sound exactly like your amp at a lower volume, we make it sound good at a lower yeah. volume, which is a different approach okay. that we have with that product. Yeah. In the case that you need your cabinet, for example, you still want to have some volume. Right. We have the low Lowest setting here. Minus 40, right? Yes. So you get your plexi at whisper level. Yeah. That's great. It sounded great there too. It was shocking. No yeah. loss of tone. It sounds the same. So with my background, I, I understand cab modeling and to somebody who doesn't understand what it is, what's going on that gives them the ability to sound, quite frankly, awesome. So with our technology, you pick a cabinet, you pick two mics and you get to move them the way you want and mix them the way you want. Oh, so yeah. you're really in the position of the sound engineer in mm -hmm. the studio trying yeah. to find the sweet spot for the cabinet. I think many people ignore that the final tone actually depends a lot on your cabinet choice yeah. and your microphone choice. Yeah. So it's really important to take a little bit of time to get that right. Captor X comes with 32 cabinets and a variety of microphones. Is there a way to get other cabs or do other things with it? Yes, you can actually upload new cabinets. And you know you can try all the cabinets we offer in the Genos library in real time with Torpedo Remote. We want the people to be able to try all the stuff we offer before buying anything. Oh, got it. And then when you buy it, it can go into the unit. You can load it into the unit. So you can buy virtual cabinets from two nodes, but you can also do your own IRs. We okay. provide a free yeah. software called Blend IR, mm -hmm. and you can do your own mix of IRs. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. And you can also buy IRs, regular IRs from third party vendors. Once you have what we call the raw miking, so you have a very good raw material to work with, we offer some options to actually polish your tone to make it more radio-ready, if I can say mm -hmm. so. So we have what we call the enhancer. Mm -hmm. With the enhancer, you have three parameters called body, thickness, and brilliance. Body would just actually increase that little bit the presence and the low mid, something that makes really the guitar shine in the mix. And thickness and brilliance we use just to work on the low end and the high end. Uh -huh. It's interesting to use those functions and just switch them off to realize how far you are from the raw material. Mm -hmm. As a sound engineer, maybe you don't need those, but as a guitarist like myself, mm -hmm. I will use it all the time because it sounds so much better, easier to play, more like a studio sound. Okay. As people a little more think polished or absolutely. Yeah. At the club the other night, uh, the guitar player was using the twin tracker. It floored me. I was actually blown away by how effectively it moved the guitar out of the middle, but didn't just sound like that normal trick you do where you can hear that it's just a delay. It really sounded like two guitar players playing double tracked. How did you do this voodoo? Well, you know, this it's a stereo unit. Yep. So I was thinking about what's happening when you have only one guitarist on stage or what's happening when you play by yourself. It's not really great to play with a song that's just right here in the middle. So we worked on the Twin Tracker. The idea was to create another guitarist or bassist that plays with you 
you can adjust the balance between you playing and the other virtual musician playing with you so you get to actually move them in the stereo field right it's really interesting i think that's the setting you want especially on stage when you have just one guitarist but when you play with headphones it's really magical oh yeah you feel this rather than like you were saying another interesting option again because it's a stereo unit with the space knob it actually defines how much space you have around you. Mm. So basically it will work with a new stereo reverb we have in that unit to actually expand the stereo width of that reverb. The reason why we put a parameter here is that sometimes you have a great reverb pedal on your pedal board, but sometimes mm. it's not so good. And the one we have here is the real studio yeah, algorithm. Sounds great. And it, it sounds great. So. You may decide to actually use this as an effect rather than just a room modeling. Mm -hmm. The next knob is voicing knob, um, and it has a detent in the middle. So what, what, what would you use that for? Is that, that seems like something new. Yes, the voicing knob is really new with the, with the Tunos product. That's a new function in case you are on stage especially. But you just need to do a tiny bit of correction. Mm -hmm. It's actually changing the voicing of the whole unit. We know every product has a tone, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the button that you use to actually change that tone. It will go from a more modern, scooped, tone mm -hmm. to a more mid-focused, we call it vintage mm -hmm. tone. Maybe as a sound person, you'd like to have something more in the mids because it fits right. better in the yeah. mix, but maybe the presets don't work exactly the way yeah. you want. Yeah. So, well, just try just that. And it's a very powerful setting, so you don't have to turn it all the way down or right. up. Right. And it's, it's designed to be fast and effective. Yeah. You may not need it. That's why there is a middle position that right. does nothing. But it's actually when you start working with a product, you realize that, yeah, it's so fast. It's yeah. easy. It's great. It's awesome. So how do you control the software that's in Capture X? So when you want to edit preset, a preset being a virtual cabinet, microphone, miking, and mm -hmm. all the effects you can add, we actually offer different options. If you're at home or in your home studio or in the studio, I guess you probably will have a computer. So you can connect the USB control into mm -hmm. your computer and use our Torpedo Remote software. Okay. Torpedo Remote gives you access to any parameter on the unit, but also software updates, loading new cabinets, loading your own third-party IRs. It gives you full control of the unit. But if you're on stage, you probably don't have your computer. So right. yeah. that's when the Bluetooth capability of the unit oh, is useful. Awesome. So you just have to take your phone or your tablet and control everything in the unit. Apple and Android? Apple and Android, Beautiful. any kind of device. And it's just great to have that in the pocket. You don't have to... Is, it, is that similar to the one I've seen with Cab M? Absolutely. Beautiful. It's very close, except we have a few more options yeah, in this yeah. one. And pretty much the same interface. Yeah. So anybody can download it it's and so play with it. so easy to use. Yeah, that's, all, that's exciting stuff. So if I wanted to control this, like on the fly during a song, is there a way to switch cabs or switch models while you're playing a song from a pedal board or something? So we provide MIDI control and you can control not only your presets, but also control any parameter. So oh, you really? can get crazy and oh. use your expression, oh, expression pedal, pedal to move the mic, oh, to no way. change the reverb, to I change whatever. That. That's awesome. So and that's common to all the Tunos product having a, a MIDI control. Oh. That I think it's good to provide creative options yeah, to absolutely. musicians. Are there other ways that you can use the left and right output? There are actually three routing options you can use with that unit. Imagine when you're in the studio, you may want to record what I call wet signal is with the speaker seam, the miking and everything. Everything but, that would be coming out of the so, Captor X. Absolutely. So th let's say it's a, it's a left output and mm -hmm. on the right, you'd rather have the dry out. So no effect, no speaker seam, mm -hmm. just your amp tone going to your DAW and then in the DAW, using the Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin, oh, yeah. where you can do afterwards right. the cabinet modeling and the miking. You may change your mind about the type of tone you're aiming mm -hmm. at and right. just use Wall of Sound just to find something else or just duplicate some tracks. Yeah. It's, it's yep. very easy to use. I could actually uh, have everything coming out of Captor X, one be just off the back of the amp. And then even though we're coming into the speaker, we could put still go out to a speaker cabinet mic that up and record all three in a session. So now you have all three choices when you get ready to mix. Absolutely. And because you have the attenuator here, right. you can even have the cabinet hanging out in the recording room or yeah. just in the monitoring room, yeah. having it here at low volume with a mic. Right. I mean, it's a it's a world of options. Uh, stereo would be my favorite choice if I just 
play with headphones. Mm -hmm. I want to have a great tone playing by myself. The other way to, to use the two outputs, imagine you're on stage now. You don't have someone to take care of monitors. Mm -hmm. So maybe the guitarist will have some kind of tiny mixer or something or mm -hmm. IEMs with a mixer. You can actually use one output to go to the monitors and oh. the other output to go to front of house. And you get to have the same modeling on both, but you have separate EQ and separate reverb. Oh, that's great. So the guitarist can have his own reverb sound if he wants a lot mm -hmm. because he's comfortable with that and with the EQ he likes to fit in his mix mm -hmm. but you as front of house you can actually say no no I want flat EQ I will do it from the mixer or on the other hand yeah I'd rather cut something or something else just cut the low end you like the low end to play but I'd rather not have it yep. and cut it here rather than cutting it from a mixer, right. you get the signal ready to mix. Yeah, there could be one going to front of house, one going to the monitor, and we could have a quiet, mic'd up amp that could come to front of house that I could split left and right and have a different vibe and get it again out of the middle of the mix. Oh, yeah, That's powerful. Many professional bands are actually using the technique. They will keep a real cabinet and mic it, mm -hmm. maybe in a silent box, mm -hmm. you know, and have the torpedo, having the option to mix them both, it's great. Yeah, that's awesome. I've already decided as a front of house guy that this is just going to be in my backpack. So <laughs> I'm bringing it to gigs. And, and if the guitar player doesn't want to use it, fine. Nothing changes. But if he trusts me, my players do, um, I think that they're going to be blown away just like I am. I've been here all week doing some live gigs and some studio stuff. And this is an amazing product. And I'm really excited to see what happens with, uh, with you guys in the future. And thanks for having me. Thank you, Rich. It was great having yeah. you. This was Rich Rankin, sound engineer at Rev4 Audio, and Guillaume P, CEO of Two Notes. For more information about the Torpedo Capture X, you can go to twonotes.com slash torpedo capture X. Thanks for watching.